Okay, hello friends, this is Dennis from Blender Physics and I'm using Blender 3.0 uh, to show you this new tutorial and it's about tags. Some people were asking me uh, about how you can uh, make text work with our flip fluid uh, add-on simulation and um, you might drive into some issues uh, where the text is not watertight or it generally does not work. So let me show you how quick and easy this will work. The first thing we need to do is we need to add, to add some text. Let me rotate it around the X axis and 90 degrees like this. And of course, I would like to choose a more beautiful text font. So let's go to the fonts on the right side, open this font panel here and change the regular font by clicking this uh, yes this icon here and this is a collection of fonts i have on my system so there's a lot could be some more um, if you don't see that previews here this is because you need to enable that icon here so you have a list and details view here and you can have this uh, display mode to thumbnails so you can see this i would like to have another font so let me show to something uh, let me choose this it's a bit, bit more round and i think i like it yes of course so flat will not work because uh, we need volume we need a volume um to have the fluid be inside and that needs um, to have some extrusion here so uh, on the geometry panel you can extrude the text here uh, yeah, a bit like this and if you like you can also uh, bevel it a little bit because uh, with beveled edges text looks more beautiful so to do this you can use devs 0 0.1 as example okay it's much too big Let's say 0.01 it's more beautiful maybe oh, 0.005 yeah that's okay so we have the round edges here and um, you can make the resolution uh, less or more depends on what you would like to see so with a uh, resolution of one this is a flat edge here um, so let's increase the resolution to something like this what will be enough for a fluid object okay so the first thing is, uh, the first problem is, uh, if we are going to use this as a fluid object, we will find out there is no way to add a fluid object to this. You can click on flip fluid and then you can select fluid and then you will have an arrow because we need a mesh. What we have here is just text. What means we have curves here, as example, something like curves, and we need to convert this into mesh. So when we will do this, uh, we just need to click uh, hit F3 on the keyboard and then type in mesh. And you should find something like object convert mesh. Click on this. And now our object is a mesh and we can add some, uh, yeah, some of these uh, fluid objects to it. So let me remove it for now because there's a problem. You will find that problem when going into the edit mode. Uh, make sure everything is not selected and then hit F3 again and type in manifold. Find non-manifold and click on this. And if you will find some yellow marked edges or faces, this means your object is not watertight and will not work in a flip fluid simulation or not work very good. So we need to fix this. Uh, one way would be while this is selected to uh, press F on your keyboard. So this will fill holes and this object will be uh, watertight. But as you can see here, the E, the hole of the E has been closed too. So this is not an option for us to use this. So let me undo it by pressing Ctrl Z. Okay. And um, we found out the best way to make that look really, really good is to use the 3d uh, print add-on so on the right side i have to search it here it is 3d print um, this comes uh, natively with blender you just need to enable it to find it go to edit preferences and while being on add-ons here type in print and then you will find the mesh 3d print toolbox checkbox here enable this like me here 
and then you can close the window or make sure it has been saved in preferences, close this window, and then you will find the 3D print tool on the right side here. And this has a really cool function because at, at, uh, as the name says, it is for 3D printing and 3D printing needs watertight uh, objects as well as flip fluids add-on does. So this is a perfect way to fix our problem. Click on check all wait some seconds and then this thing will tell you you have non-manifold edges 7000 7 thousand <laughs> i'm sorry and 700 and some uh, other problems here so uh, just open that cleanup box here click on make manifold then click on check all again and you will find your object has been fixed now so the other things are not that important as the manifold data here so when going to the edit mode Make sure everything is not selected and type in again non-manifold, click on it and now you will find out nothing will be marked yellow. What means basically our mesh is now ready to be used in a flip fluid simulation. What we can now do is we can make it look more beautiful or make it have uh, yes less faces uh, just for um, make Blender use less computer memory. Um, that will increase the simulation speed a bit. So um, the way I'm doing it is using a modifier. There's that decimate modifier and uh, just use it. Uh, take a look to the face count here. Now this is how many faces we have. Uh, let's type in something like 0.5. You will see the face count is not going uh, lower. Uh, try this. Okay, that is really, really cool, much less. Always in front view check if your object looks good enough for uh, what you look looking to do. So uh, you can disable this to uh, compare between before and after using the modifier. If it is okay, you can try to have less faces. So let's go into this. Very great. So you can increase or decrease that number um, the way you like it or you think it would be good enough for your simulation. So uh, with this low value, we have really, really, uh, really less faces than before, but the edges are not looking beautiful. So I would like to have them look a bit more beautiful. So I think 0.05 is fine for me. Always remember that this object is not going to be rendered. We are, ju we are just using the volume of it for our flip fluid simulation. So it might it is okay if it's not looking that perfect like the original text object. So when this is okay, please apply it and take a look in edit mode. And I would say this is looking very, very good. So it's ready to be used. Go to the flip fluids tab here. And uh, while the text is selected, you can click on create domain. What will create a domain that is surrounding your object? Well, this object, this domain object is not too big and not too small. Uh, always remember, the bigger your domain object is, the longer a simulation will take. So make it small and then that will increase the baking speed for your simulation. Okay, so we have a domain here. Uh, we can now add a fluid object to the text. Uh, you could also use here the add-on to make this possible. So uh, where the text is selected, make it a fluid object and you will find the settings on the right side. And while the domain is selected, by the way, another trick here, if you cannot find the domain because you have many objects here, you can also open select objects, click on domain and that will quickly select your domain object. How great is this? <laughs> So, okay, for this simulation, I'm going to use uh, Apex Solver. It's sometimes a bit faster and more beautiful. And uh, the resolution could be something like 150. As example, let's take a look to the visual grid. So this gives us an idea about how fine our simulation will look like. I think this is great. And uh, let me disable this. What I would also like to have is some viscosity. So the text is a bit looking like it's melting. So let's go to the word tab here. And yeah, so we have viscosity here. Enable this. Let's save a value of 2.5 will be okay. And yeah, so we have set up our simulation here. We should now save our file. <coughs> text sim. Yeah, how crazy. Okay, so save your file and then hit bake. 
Well, okay, so I have uh, baked 315 frames for now, and I think that will be enough. So let's have a look to how this is looking like. And uh, yes, when playing that back, you will see it is not really a smooth animation. This is because uh, the add-on is loading the higher resolution mesh for the animation playback. You can switch to preview mode, what is not as beautiful as the original. So uh, let's have a look to the original. So this is this one and the preview mesh is this one. By the way, you can set up the resolution of the preview mesh in the domain simulation grid settings here. Um, when the checkbox for use recommended is enabled, that means we will use automatically the half of your final resolution, but you can disable this and then use your own setting here. Okay, my keyboard is going to be empty. However, so switch to preview and then you can play back the animation and you will see something like this. One more thing I would like to uh, show you is uh, if you find that your uh, surface is not looking beautiful or is not smooth enough, you can uh, use a smooth modifier. The Flip Fluids add-on uh, by default adds a smooth modifier to your fluid surface, but you need to set it up. So I recommend to use something like a factor of one and repeat, let's say 15 as example. And I also used, uh, yes, kind of metallic liquid material I have set up here. And uh, the result is what you can see here. Uh, yes, as told, play around with a smooth modifier for, um, yeah, for the way how smooth this is looking like. Yes, and then you can render your scene. Yeah, so that means our text simulation was uh, successfully. It works. This will um, work with every kind of text. Uh, it should work with every font. And yeah, if you drive into any issues with this or if you have questions or anything else, uh, use the comment fields below this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.